Hello and welcome to Whispering Wind Psychic Cowgirl. My name is Reverend Melissa Kennedy and these are the cards for the collective energy today on the planet. We have two of spring coming in from the tarot and the message is a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams. Great progress is being made. And so this card speaks about collaboration, dreams, manifestations. The universe is saying, be on the lookout for some possible personal choices and decisions, perhaps choices, precision, um, decisions in your close circle of family and friends, perhaps help, helping them to decide on which way to go, things to do. And it just speaks of persevere, keep going, you're making great progress. There are people around you that you can support and they in turn will support you. So I'm just hearing bright future. And the second card that comes in is the black dragon from Saturn, which goes very, very well with the two of spring. And the message on the card is brings you wisdom through spiritual discipline. So this brings in the spiritual aspect of life, not just the work aspect. So there's a lot of emotions going on today in the collective. <clears throat> That's what I feel. So the message on the dragon card, the black dragon says, concentrate, focus on your ultimate vision. Congratulate yourself. You have passed a test. So we have been receiving a lot of tests from the universe, from the world, in our own personal lives. And we're working on our shadow. We're working on balancing and creating harmony in our lives. And we're, we've also been working on not letting the outer, what goes on in the outside world, influence what goes on in our inner world. So this card comes in to congratulate you, saying you've done a good job. You're working on the shadow aspect of yourself. You understand what might trigger you, what might prevent you from moving forward in a healthy way, in a healthy psychological way, in a way that feels good for you. And um, these black dragons um, bring in a lot of divine feminine energy, but they also um, work in conjunction with Archangel Gabriel. And he's holding um, a lot of light for the planet right now. And he carries also um, the violet flame of transmutation. And that's what this dragon is bringing in for us today as well. So if you find yourself being triggered by anything, call on the black dragon from Saturn to help you to alchemize any of these lower um, feelings, emotions, densities, things that are coming in from the exterior. Ask this black dragon to help you to alchemize, to um, just make them go away. And this card today comes as a blessing and it is telling you that you are firmly planted and grounded and you are on your path to ascension, but you also have the collective, the highest and best good of everyone involved by knowing that you are responsible only for how you bring yourself into the world, how you react to situations. So this card says you've passed the test. Concentrate, focus on your ultimate vision and congratulate yourself and um, keep moving forward. And remember to connect in with your inner joy and bliss and things that make you happy. Just you, whether it's painting, listening to music, something creative, um, walking outside, connecting with nature. Just keep focusing on the things that bring you joy and happiness. And as my prediction was for this year, it's all about the heart. And so this goes back to that. 2023 is challenging us to stay within our own hearts and to connect in with what brings us joy and happiness. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you for listening. And if these daily messages help you in any way, perhaps they, perhaps they would help somebody else that you know. So if you like and share, I really appreciate that. Also, um, I am available for private readings daily. I've been 
pretty busy. I also have a special on my website. Um, if you'd like a one card personal oracle reading, I will pull a card for you and make a recording similar to this for your guidance. And that is 1111 for the remainder of this month. So it's a really great deal. And you can ask one question with this oracle reading as well. So it's a good way to see what's coming in for you. Um, it's also good to start the beginning of a week with, or if you're looking to figure out what's my week looking like, um, what do the cards say. So I'm going to thank you once again, love you and leave you. Until next time, Reverend Melissa Kennedy signing off. Bye-bye now.